Welcome back guys to the HWBOT World Tour 2017 here in Montreal. I'm Truthman from Overflooking TV and for the final match of the amateur PvP I'm being joined once again by Carl, Mr. TechQC. Hey guys, my name is Carl. I do reviews online under the name Mr. TechQC. I'm here from Montreal and I'm the, I'll be co-hosting. That's, that's the reason why you're here actually. Exactly, I'm from Montreal. <laughs> All right, that, that's fun to co-host with people that are from the same uh, area where we do the, the shows. I, I really like to, to have that. Uh, are you having fun so far? Um, I'm really tired. I love the event. I have no more voice because of the different stuff I did. But I mean, as much as I'm tired, I want to just sleep and eat right now. I mean, it's a thrill. Adding to overclocking, just overclocking in general and live streaming is really fun, especially with this guy. <laughs> Thank you. So that's going to be the last match for today. And this is going to be the live final of the amateur tournaments. We can call it this way at the HWBOT World Championship, uh, HWBOT World Tour 2017 here in Montreal. That's going to be on XTU. They're going to have two rounds of 15 minutes. And well, they will switch the platform in, in the middle for it to be super fair for all the guys. Today we have Sydney, which is someone that doesn't own a PC yet and that is still access the final here against Kafumla, which have been uh, one of the top score and top, uh, top scorer in the different uh, matches that we had before. So I know that uh, the judge and all the players are almost ready to, to start. Let's tune in to the judge and see what we have to do. All right, guys, welcome to the final of the HIVOD World Tour Amateur or Ambient Cooling competition here. Um, so we've got uh, Sydney on one side, a Kafumle on the other side. Now, this time I got it right. Um, all right, so the same rules as before, two times 15 minutes on XTU. Of course, we make the sum of both scores, and whoever has the highest will be the champion. Are you guys ready? Do you have any questions? All right, cool. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. And here we go for 15 minutes in XTU. All right. So while they set the bases up, let's remind you what the pri first prize is. So the big winner will get a 7700K from Intel i7 CPU on a, well, LG A1151 socket uh, with a Alpha Cool, is that right? Oh, water cooler and a Seasonic power supply. So great components to start overclocking. The uh, i7-7700K is a great overclocker, or like minimum five gigahertz with that great cooler. And yeah, so a great pack to uh, get into the overclocking community. So already two benchmarks, well, one benchmark on either side. And on the red side, we have Sydney. On the blue side, we have Kafumbla. So let's find out where the first scores will be. So the first um, score will be from Sydney. Correct. At 4.4 gigahertz. gigahertz. Same thing for Kafumbla. Right, 3164 for Sydney. 3164, not bad. Starting very well. See Kafumbla. Same frequency. Oh, oh, this is the end straight up. That's what I like. That's what I like to see. Same thing for Kafumbla. VZC, no time to wait. They learned the mistake to not use it previously. I think in between matches, they looked up online uh, the platform because it makes a killer difference on this uh, system uh, right here. It's impressive to see that they change the strategy match over match. So Correct. always trying to change something. So Something that we don't always see for beginners, yeah. right? Yeah, usually we see that from the uh, top of clickers, like a specific way of benching. But these two ones, I think, very, very um, impressive into adapting to, uh, to, to this kind of game. All right, Sydney is going to score again. 31.87. All right. 35.13 for Kafumbla there. 35.13. That's 400 points different, and it's only 100 megahertz higher. I know. It's crazy. We already have two scores on each side in, so pretty uh, fast-paced uh, round this time. The other, we saw some other rounds in quarters and mid that uh, we had at the beginning only crashes, now we get only scores, so good sign for uh, the match in general. I mean, they're at the end of well, the, the tournament, so they got a lot more experience and they reminded their mistakes on the other rounds, so they, well, they, they didn't know what not to do, and uh, we're still in the basic round, so we cannot expect 
insane scores by right now, but it's looking pretty promising uh, at the moment at least. Sydney 32-59. Improving his score a little bit. Again. Kafumla 35-32. Improving as well. Mm -hmm. um, there's still 300 points different between the two. Correct. But uh, what could be influencing that one specifically? It's insane. Um, yeah. So we have the cash that makes it. Yeah. XCU is well. Well, let's start first. Well, um, Sydney is at 44, like 4.4. Kafumbla 45. But yeah, the cash seems to be uh, uh, has two. Like, let's see. Sydney has 2.8 gigahertz and Kafumbla three. So. Only that 200 megahertz on the cache and 100 megahertz on the core makes a 300 point difference, which is pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, so uh, XTU, RAM, and uh, cache are not to be uh, forgotten about. These are the benchmarks that are used by all the amateur here. And it's, it's important to note that they, some of them didn't know it. 33.51. Okay. All right, Sydney is getting there. Uh, he's trying to improve his score a little bit. Uh, so now he's uh, above the 3,300 point barrier. Correct. So I'm happy to see that Sydney brought the triple boost power time window down to the minimum while Kafumbla is still at the, the standard eight seconds. So still some improvement for Kafumbla to get even if he's still, uh, he's leaning for the moment and uh, 10 minutes uh, 30 left on the clock. So. I mean, Kafumla is leading and has some improvements uh, to do that uh, Sydney did not do. So it's looking very promising on the blue side today. Uh, the red side is almost finishing the benchmark. We get a score that needs to go higher than 33.51. It's exactly the same, <laughs> same one. Thing. <laughs> wow. Usually you'll see a couple points difference, but it's pretty funny to see exactly the same thing. Nice to see how Sydney is using profiles. What a oh, time wait. saver. We didn't get any crashes yet, but more that goes, more crashes will come because you're getting on the limits of the platform and having the, those, the, those uh, saved profiles will save you some time, as we said uh, on the earlier matches. The VCC in on Kafumbla side is being increased. By default, it's 1.8 volts. Uh, he's trying to, to push that to 1.9 volts. Uh, I don't know if it's because he watched the exhibition match uh, where we were actually putting that one to 1.9 all the time. We're not even trying at 1.8. Yep. And now he's doing it as well. Or if we went online and just did some uh, basic research and maybe said, oh yeah, maybe that's how yep. I, should, uh, I should do totally, it. Totally, totally. All right, 3421. Yeah, 34, above the 24 by okay. the, the delta between the two players is uh, getting smaller and smaller. A great thing to see, especially that we have uh, 9 minutes 10 left on the clock. So uh, about five, uh, like, uh, yeah, f f six minutes uh, down, nine to go. Yeah, getting stressed a little bit. It's getting closer yep. to you, man. You have to hurry up. Okay, let's change the uh, processor cache frequency on, Sin on Kafumbla side now at 3 gigahertz. That should yield some uh, extra point as well. It's good to see that Kafumbla has enabled uh, package HDP monitoring so he can see if, uh, more easily, if it's uh, power limit throttling or not compared to um, Sydney that doesn't have enabled. So it's good to see on your graphics, card, on your, on your graphics there to see uh, what type of limit you're, you're, you're pushing. And as of right now, the biggest limit that we've seen is the power from the motherboard. Sydney. So, uh, great thing to monitor oh, there. Getting closer, man. Getting closer. That's and 36 points away. Yep. Yep. Not bad. Not bad. And that 36 point is not that much. I mean, yeah, maybe it's just go 46 on some of the uh, uh, of the multiplier, or maybe just increase the, the cash ratio. The, um, that, that could be one thing. Oh, he's going for 46. 46. He's going straight in. So, we have 46. So we had 4.5 gigahertz for uh, Sydney. Yep. And Kafumla is doing the same, but it's at 3.1 gigahertz for the uh, processor cache frequency. I just seen a peak on the package TDP of 214 watts, which is insane. Those uh, dual 8 pins power connectors are being pushed. So, uh, yeah. 
Not bad. So 10 point increase Correct. compared to his previous core. That's uh, that's very nice. Uh, it just touched the processor cache ratio. I guess he's gonna try to yeah, increase that one again. Yep. Just the voltage. Oh, the crash there. Oh, it, so just did the, it just did the voltage. Oh, he just yeah. So okay. it just touched the voltage. Did not increase the the frequency so That's far. That's where it's not gonna help his score at all, from what I know. But um, yeah, so it seems I was about to um, to uh, say that Kofumla should go to 4.6, but that's what Sydney did, and he crashed. So maybe keeping a conservative 4.5 gigahertz, but going and pushing the cache a bit more is a great tactic. So um, I'll let them do their thing instead of uh, complaining here. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a, that's a very nice strategy for the for the two guys to save profile. Correct. So once you restart, you just load the profile, make sure it works, and then start uh, overclicking again from this one. So 35, 42, exact same score that was expected. That's the exact same setting. It just increased the voltage. Now that the, it's increasing the voltage, but not increasing oh. the multiplier. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he's trying to test if uh, if that's gonna crash or not mm -hmm. to uh, to know his maximum limit for for the voltage on the so cache uh, cache frequency. It's funny to say that uh, Sydney is using 1.135 volts on the core for 4.5 gigahertz, and. 1.15, uh, actually 1.15. Oh my 15. god! 30, 35, That's nice. 13. Whoa, Sydney okay. Sydney broke it at 4.5 gigahertz and 61 degree. Yeah. He's breaking the barrier for 3500 for the first That's time on great. that run for him. Yep. Still. Still not too gonna have to improve his core, but that's nice. They're, they're getting very close. I like this this type of game because they're super yep. close. There is five minutes left in that game, and they anything can happen. I mean, one can oh, start crash. you see crashing and rebooting and losing time. Um, I'm I, I I'm curious because both are at 4.5, but uh, Sydney was using 1.35 volts and film was only using 1.15. So big difference there for the same uh, frequency on the CPU. So today they are all using the core i9-7920X, so that's a 12 core CPU from Intel. Um, they are of course using a Seasonic PSU Snow Silent 750 watts. 80 plus to platinum, a great oh, power supply. Yeah, good stuff as they say. Um, it's cooled on by an uh, all-in-one water cooling by Alpha Cold, the 420 ice beer. And of course, Praxair was providing the LN24 over the weekend, so that's uh, where the workshop where yep. we're going on. Uh, of course, uh, shout out to Intel and Gigabyte for supporting even with uh, with the hardware as well. Yep. All right, so it crashed. We have to uh, gotta oh, have to go yeah, back. Oh, yeah, first crash with Kofumba there. He he's gonna start fine tuning, and I was expecting to see fire clocks, but I think that they learned a lot from the past rounds. And 4.5 seems to be the limit as of right now, and 4.6 leads more to instant building and crashes than better scores. So, um, great tactic right now. Kafubla is back into Windows. Four minutes, 10 on the clock. So, uh, there, there's time to get a bit more scores and the scores are actually pretty close. 35-13 for Sydney and 35-42 uh, for Kafubla. So about 20, uh, 20 or so score points of difference. So compared to last round where we've seen where we've seen a, a deltas of over a hundred, we're only a delta of twenty. So uh, I won't bet on anyone right us right now because just a little bit of tweaking here and there can push Sydney on the level of Kafumbla and change a lot of stuff. And even that twenty points can be cashed up on a second round. So. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep an eye, guys, on the on the scores there, and don't and don't disconnect from the Twitch as of right now because everything can change from one moment to another. It's it's super close. As they are super close, that will be very difficult for them to get this extra leap that we had in the, all the previous round. We had like hundred point difference in the in the lead uh, between the same platform, and now it's it's very hard. I mean, one of the platform is more tricky to get than the other one, and it seems that uh, these guys are actually doing it very well. Yep, totally. That's that's part of the iOS core we have seen over the weekend. Uh, the the iOS so far was 3610, uh, which is not that yep. far from where the guys are. It's a, it's 100 points away. Which is uh, if someone if one of them managed to bench at 4.6, that's maybe what they will be yep. able to get. I think the highest score that we saw on LN2 was at around 4,000 or so, which is pretty good. Well, LN2, a whole another level of hardware and everything, but still, good to uh, good to know. Uh, we're out 4.8 gigahertz. I remind. Um, so yeah, 
Uh, oh, a crash on Kafubla's side. I didn't uh, check what he was doing, but it seems like more and more crashes, which makes sense. They're trying to get uh, the most out of uh, of their settings. So the profiles are really helpful when you have like two, three, or four settings dialed in. You don't want to waste that time. They should just have one to two to change. Huge, huge, huge time saver there. There's a, 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 as well a different strategy by uh, Sydney to not touch too much the default cache voltage, uh, but actually improve the offsets. So Correct. The, the turbo boost kicks in, it's actually when yep. uh, the voltage is going to kick in. Um, as for now, it's very easy for the guys that are doing uh, overclocking. These guys got trained yesterday, so these people don't uh, did not knew about overclocking before. Actually, Sydney doesn't even own a computer yet. So that, well, that, that is how easy it is to, uh, to go that. Uh, that's going to be the third match for them uh, as of today, and there's 1 minute and 30 seconds to the clock before the end, yep. because before the final call. I just realized like a full block still didn't change his turbo boost power uh, time window. Still at 8 seconds, which is insane. Um, so I'm sure he can get a little bit more stability by pushing that down to uh, 0 0.25 seconds as... Uh, Sydney did on his side and I think it oh, helped him even though he crashed. just crashed. Sydney just crashed, he was trying to in, uh, increase the uh, the offset for the core, uh, core voltage right. and he was trying to get to go to 4.6 as well uh, which is very difficult on this platform and is, uh, I don't know if it's this one or the other platform which is very tricky to, um, to, to, to get running. One of them is going 4.6 for sure, the other one is doing 4.5-ish uh, but uh, with a lower voltage, yeah. he's still at 1.155, where his competitor is at 1.35. Uh, the last time I've seen it, so pretty big difference. 35.55. New score. That's good. Oh, okay. 51. So uh, he pulled his delta a bit higher. So uh, 20 seconds. Now, now we're looking at a 30-point difference. Okay. And 20 seconds. 20 seconds. It aft so here we have Kafumbla. Uh, is, is almost sure to, to, be, to be there. But Sydney have one last change. If in the last seven seconds, he can run the benchmark. So he run the benchmark. Three, two, one. Okay, so they both run the benchmark just before the end. <laughs> oh, crash. <laughs> it was on purpose waiting for it. He was actually looking back at the stream desk and he was like, yeah, I'm just going to wait for this one. <laughs> yeah. It's funny how we didn't see any blue screen recently. I think that once you touch into the VCC and either the system completely crash and you don't even you just go over the blue screen so um so here we have sydney can still improve his core 3513 point if he beats 3551 oh no that's, uh, that's, not that's lower lower that's so exactly. um a 30 point difference which is pr pretty big but he definitely definitely has a chance to uh catch back uh soon ish uh, with the second round, so uh, they're going to swap systems, the judges are going to wipe the whole thing, and we're going to see uh, the second round in a couple minutes or so. The second round would be the exact same two player that will just change the platform, just to make sure that everything is uh, fair for everyone, Correct. Uh, everything is reset, like the CPU profile, the profile in XTU are reset, so you only have the default one. The BIOS profile, even though because XTU can interact with the BIOS, the BIOS profile are loaded up to the default one. And of course, the last part that you need to do is to, well, make sure that the guys, uh, well, we don't change the chair. The chair is still the same, <laughs> but I don't think that's gonna have any impact for it. No. So. That, that would be tricky. Like one, uh, you, you can uh, like spice things up. Like, okay, you have to do it on, with just one hand or you have to do it like on one feet. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a, a, a tricky, Tricky part for for doing. In this. the next land, we have the we have to give them a challenge. You have to find your own thermal paste. Find something. <laughs> so go to the to the cafeteria and find some mayo or something. And that don't would be try this at home. Don't try it at well. home. <laughs> so here we have the, uh, the 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 judges are cleaning up the, the the computers. But between that time, what can we get from this first half of the uh, final one here for the uh, HW Bot World Tour Montreal 2017? Well, from the last match I've seen, which is the last one I've commented with Truthman, um, I'm glad to see a couple of improvements. First of all, profiles, straight up profiles all the time. They've learned it's a huge change ever. Second of all, um, even though I'm not the biggest professional on this platform, I know from one of the little testing I did, VCCN 
makes a huge difference. Cash rate zero as well in uh, in X, uh, XTU is really important, and I think that the competitors understood that, and they really they understood it. They studied the system a bit more during the break, and it really shows less crashes, and they go really a more intelligent way. They just don't push the random number. They they seem to go and think about it and think what they did before before dialing anything in, and it really pays off. Definitely pays off, and uh, as we say, like these people were amateurs, so they got trained over the past two days, 30 minutes. Hey, this is how it works for overclocking. Push the ratio, push the multiplier, increase the voltage, test out, see if it's improving the performances, and that's it. That's as easy as that. And with XTU, you do everything from the OS, so it's even better than actually trying to go into the BIOS and trying to understand all the you know, knobs and all the, the, the terms for it. Yeah. And Sydney doesn't even own a computer yet, which means if you won that competition, if you win that competition, that would be like, yeah, insane. I won an overclocking competition before owning a computer. Like, that would be okay. insane. Okay, so th this is as easy as it gets. Yep, I think Sydney would have the, the, the trophy of nothing to go, but I believe that Kafubla needs a prop as well because and the, all the people that we saw come by the HWBot uh, booth here at DreamHack Montreal, he was probably one of the shyest I've seen. And he went from that to like not being shy at all, going to interact with people and ask questions about the systems. And I, I, I passed about a half an hour talking with him uh, in the audience later about what he does and everything. And he's a really cool guy. So, yeah. Ah, good stuff. And yeah, actually, it's, it's funny thing is Sydney had to, between his first match and his second match, he had to go for driving, uh, driving classes. Right. Oh, really? <laughs> so, so he went. He went here, did the convention, went off to the driving uh, license, the uh, driving classes, then come back and win the semi-final. Now he's in the final. It will be insane if he can uh, if he can uh, win. He's not in the lead for now, but that's super tight. I mean, there's uh, so 35, 13 point for Sydney, and then 35, 51 for Kafumla. This is super tight in terms of points difference because most of the scores that we had before were over 100 points in between the two platforms. So now we're gonna have to see if Kafumla can do better on the platform that Sydney was doing uh, was using before. And the same thing for Sydney with the uh, platform that Kafumla was using just uh, in the previous part of the run. Right. So the two clockers are at their computers now. Um, and I guess we will be waiting for the start from the judge and stuff should be soon ready. So stay tuned. All right, guys, uh, this is it. This is the last last round of this uh, final here of the HI Bot World Tour 2017 and I can say it's gonna be a tough race. All right guys, are you ready? This is the last 15 minutes. No questions? No? Nothing? Okay, all right, cool. Let me change the timer. All right, three, two, one, go. There we go, 15 minutes on the clock and they're just straight up gonna create their profiles all the basic setting and that's basically what uh, what we are gonna get off from uh, from from this specific match do a profile yep totally. every time you crash you do so much time if you don't have a profile that's just you even miss then. something it's like oh yeah i can't remember which voltage yeah. i was testing and so on even from one overclocking session to another you won't remind it and the paper you wrote on the on the corner of your table you're gonna lose it because your mom put it in the trash so your profile is gonna save your bacon and save them on USB key after that. Totally. <laughs> oh yeah, just do them on, on Dropbox or, or Google Drive. Correct. Or, or, or upload it on the HWBot. <laughs> yeah, actually, if you can, you can upload your own profile on HWBot and just download it back. Correct. Which is actually what you should do when you do and that. And if you have two systems, just go from one system to another and you're all set. <laughs> all right, so that's crazy. I mean, like 45 seconds, already benching. Yep. Let's see, we're gonna get the first score. It's supposed to be Sydney that should be finishing the benchmark first at 4.4 gigahertz. They're both at 4.4 gigahertz. Yep. Um, Kafumbla is at 1.15 volts, while actually Sydney is at 1.1. 1. 1. Yep. In first score, 31. 31.80. All right, let's see Kafumbla. Wow, wow. 34, 39. Huge that's, difference between yeah, the two once again. That's a huge hit. I mean, like, Sydney has time to come back, but when you see that your competitor 
has like 300 points it plays on your nerves and i mean skills are a thing but stress and and ju just human nature can play a lot just like you're so thinking about winning and the other being in in front of you that sometimes you forget something so uh, even though it doesn't look like an intensive esport and somehow it really it, it it really is something to uh, it, to play on it all comes down on how you make the choice to which settings you push to get more performance out of it Correct. And sometimes you can be greedy and that's where things turn out to be bad yeah holy hell that's all that's that, that's like eight like wow. five minutes and we have up, we're above 3500 points <laughs> holy shit okay so um well, okay, Kafumbla is just pushing it. It's like, well, okay, sure, why not? Sure. <laughs> He's really casual right now. Okay, now Kafumbla is pushing a bit more, 1.2. Oh, the uh, V-Core crash, okay. Okay, so... Uh, Sydney is hitting a uh, limit, uh, current limit throttle right there, so uh, he better check uh, what he's doing there. Maybe his VCC in is not set, so it's at 1.8 volt by default, which means maybe for that kind of frequency at that kind of core voltage, that's a little bit too short. Yep, 4.6 is uh, pretty high. But so far, he's, try he's almost passing at 4.6, which is yeah. very good. Very good. And Chris to be the he probably can get close to Kofi Blow with that frequency. And I didn't see him uh, play with uh, Cash as of right now, so uh, not bad. Sydney, 32.51. They're only 32.51? Uh, 4.6? Okay, I mean, the Cash is the thing too, huh? Because uh, 4.6 is higher than uh, what Kofi did and uh, lower score, so uh, that, that power limit is really, uh, really hitting him right now. So, um, yep. But the uh, two guys are using the 17920X CPU from Intel, so it's a 12 core CPU, which is the best CPU you can get from Intel right now on the consumer market. And yep. uh, they both use the exact same uh, motherboard from Gigabyte, they use the exact same PSU from Tsonic, the Snow Sign and 750 watt. Uh, they use the same cooling, the AI, the all in one water cooling. Uh, 420 Icebuyer from Alpha Cool. Of course, they're not using liquid nitrogen that was provided by Praxair, but right. uh, these here is the HWBot world where they have to try out and learn. Once you get the, the, the good uh, hand and good basics of uh, water cooling, you can move to uh, liquid nitrogen and it's useless to go to LN2 uh, if you don't know uh, what you're doing, right? So, um, I have to start somewhere exactly. and then keep on, uh, keep on improving. Oh god, um, Sydney to make a huge mistake. He man I think he edited his um, his cache voltage, but he also edited the offset. So, um, I hope that won't be a crash for him. So, so they put like yeah. 0 0.5 volts. Well, uh, Kafumla is now playing with the cache voltage. That's good. Again. <laughs> which is uh, going to be uh, interesting to see if there's something. He's trying out, he, he's like looking at the AVX ratio of this, like, hmm, I don't know what this one is doing. I don't want to try it uh, too, too, too early. 34, right. 48. Closing in, closing mm. in. So, so far, Kafumbla, Kafumbla managed, already managed to do a better score than Sydney on the same platform. Correct. So he did about uh, 18 point better. Yep. And uh, that's going to be 18 point better that Sydney had to take on the same platform as Kafumbla was right. using, which is very interesting to see like which can get the most out of the platform. Yeah, yeah, I just thought about this. It's really fun to see the same hardware with users with similar experience because when you look at Extreme OC, Ooh, uh, they don't always have the exact same uh, hardware. Lower. So sometimes Lower. motherboard and RAM, sometimes they didn't pair a power supply change, and that uh, brings in a lot of, uh, of options that can lead to different performance. So um, right now it's 10 out of the 10 skills because even though the systems might not be equal because of the silicon lottery, they switch systems. So at the end of the day, Ooh, it's Cine, 35, Oh, good. So that's his best score in that specific match. Correct. I did not manage to reach higher than 35, 13 on the previous system. So he's already at 35, 22 and still have about eight minutes and 35 seconds to Go past Kafumla at 
so we got a crash on the film to the side. It was touching the cache voltage. Oh, really? It went to 1 volt and the offset of 0 0.05. So okay. maybe that's why it crashed right in. It didn't change the ratio or anything so far. I see. I, and from what I know, still he hasn't changed the, um, the, the window time for the power there, power turbo. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and the cache is on 3 gigahertz for Sydney. So um, let's find out on um, Vilma's uh, profile what is his cache uh, speed there. So he's going to load his profile. And let's find out. So he's using... Okay. He's on 3 gigahertz. 3 gigahertz as well. No, oh, actually. But it's at 4.5 for 4 the frequency, but... 3 gigahertz for the cash ratio. Oh, and okay. we do have uh, the 3522.4 yeah. Sydney, which is at 4.6 gigahertz, but 3 right. gigahertz for the cash ratio. So yep. there's definitely something that is uh, a little bit different in the settings. And we do have Sydney that is trying to increase to 3.1 gigahertz for the processor uh, cash frequency. That might help quite a bit if it doesn't crash. All right, will it crash? Will it crash or not? No, no throttling is being hit right now, no. so so far so good. Let's see if that can uh, finish the run. Off Seven the minutes down the clock, uh, a little bit, a bit less than half of the time. Still have a lot of time to uh, mix things up, and everything could change if uh, they go into other th settings there. Let's see. Stressfully waiting the end of the benchmark. 3590! Oh, oh my god! He's passing That's back great. in the league and he's taking the complete league! Oh my god, he's taking the full league! As I was saying, one. there was enough time, enough time to, to change things up, and that's what we just saw. Um, better score on time for uh, Sydney, and if he keeps the lead, that should be enough to uh, win the match. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Six minutes and ten and on Caff the clock. Yeah, and Caffeine is pissed. Like, ah, damn, I, I crashed. I had to reboot the yep. complete system now. So I'm, uh, you're going to lose a, a good 40 seconds yep. just restarting, launching XT, totally. loading the profile, changing the thing. And that 40 seconds goes to a minute if you uh, if you don't have a profile. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Kavuga had a great start. Can you do better? Oh, no, just 10 points less yep. on, uh, on the uh, red side. So here we have... Both of the overclocker managed to do better than the other one on the platform they were using at the first leg of this match. Right, correct. So, new settings, 4.6 gigahertz for um, Sydney. And he's trying 3.2 for the cache frequency. This is one of the highest we have seen today in all the matches. Right. I mean, running that long at 4.6 without crashing. Oh, oh blue and screen. we got a blue screen! I'm happy, man. We only see just like dumb crashes. Now, <laughs> a nice blue screen. I, I'm glad to oh, oh, blue screen. Oh, we had blue screen. Uh, I'm glad to see those uh, well. windows uh, sad, sad faces. <laughs> I mean, ma makes me happy. Uh. So, uh, in the chat, uh, uh, exclamation mark blue screen would be great. So, when they do blue screen, it's uh, not stable enough to run the complete benchmark but stable enough right. to actually still crash and say exactly. hey I crash ah, so now the, the two guys going to have to wait for the systems to restart yep so they both lose a good 40 seconds right now totally and yeah even though they're on SSDs Windows and XU take some time no no matter how fast but is your SSD. The, the longest time to boot now is the motherboard. Because the oh, motherboard the is like, has so many features that they have to Go enable all the these features in the post. Yeah. Especially the um, X99. X99 is a workstation platform and the post procedure is way longer than on consumer platforms like uh, Z270. Z270 posts in a couple seconds, like not even. X99 goes through all the USB on all my X X99, not, not X299. Well, the older generation, it takes forever. Yeah, and you have red, and you have all this need and to be uh, to have the enumeration and all that. Correct. So of course that takes time. I mean, on 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 X299, you you you, you don't have all the red features and and all that. So crash there. All right, crash again. Damn. It's like okay. 
What what happened? What 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 can I do now? I was like, hey, can can I can I go push him? <laughs> I can't believe Sydney is in the lead. I mean, Kafubla must be pissed. Like there's like three minutes left, and that's not that much. Like honestly, that's not right. that much. Three minutes fifteen left on the clock. Okay, so. 20 points. That's just what Kafumbla needs to have the same exact score. It would be insane to have the exact same score for both of the uh, both of the guys. Yep. We would have to continue to do like <laughs> an extra time yep. for it. It's funny how the both the players talk and have fun while the both systems are crashed <laughs> because they're like, okay, at the end of the day, we're in the same pool, we're in the same situation, so. Let's just have fun. Yeah. So we had the totals here from the judge. Uh, Sydney has had 79.03 and uh, Kafumba at 70.83. So Sydney st still has the lead, uh, even though Kafumba had the lead for the majority of the match. So it's nice to see the swap uh, at the last second. But still, 2 minutes 24, there's still time for Kafumba to get uh, the uh, around 20, uh, 20 to 30 points necessary to uh, still get the first place, so not totally out of the game. It's actually a uh, similar delta than we had in the first round. In the first round as well. Uh, so as we told you guys, this game is super close. This yep. game is super close. So will Sydney improve his core? Crash there. Oh, there oh is, my holy God, shit. Oh, that's great. great. So that's Sydney. the second best Sydney. score that's ever of today. So Sydney had a knife in Kafumba, but now he pushed it further. He pushed the Delta by quite a bit now. Great thing for him. And only a minute 40 down on the clock. Take about 30, 40 seconds to Kafumba to get in the system. Another 20 or so seconds to push it. Unless he gets really lucky. Uh, Sydney has the the match on his side. So it's interesting, like oh yeah yeah, it's like explaining how he's doing it. Maybe uh, that's gonna give some in uh, some insight for his yeah. opponent. Yeah. Kaffin, that's gonna be very hard for Kaffin, to come back from that one. That's a big surprise. So yeah, twenty points. Slightly point lower eight. score, but a very exciting match as of right now for a beginner. I am having a, a very nice time here, and uh, yeah. See, see how he's happy. There's one minute left, and he's like, "Holy hell, I'm in the lead. A, I'm leading that game." A beginner's match never got me the chicken spox, and <laughs> um, I mean, I'm really, I'm really impressed. That I did not expect that 30, uh, 36 zero, zero score there. And Kafumbla is crashing again. He might not have enough time to go back into the system and run XT again. Oh, that's gonna be very. Uh, that's gonna be hard for him. That's gonna be super hard for him to. Uh, yep. Totally. To catch up. <laughs> Check that. Check what he's doing. He's just playing like, okay, I'm gonna try 5G. 50. Yeah, <laughs> he, he knows he's gonna win, so he's just gonna Oh my god. Push it. It. Uh, I bet on a crash on that, but if he goes through, it would be insane. So there's 10 seconds. seconds and yeah, he's just having fun. Just, come on, just do it. Just do it. Just, just go for it. Just do it. Just make the system burn. Three seconds. Go apply benchmark, benchmark, benchmark. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, that's won't, have that's won't have time. Won't have time. Oh, my God. GG. Congratulations, guys. GG. That's insane. And the winner is Sine. Woo! 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 GG, so Sydney. He doesn't even own a computer and he's winning this I competition know. right here. That's so insane. that was a great match. For the beginning, well, the majority of the match, we had the impression that Kofumbla was going to win, and everything swapped in a matter of a couple minutes at the mid of the second round, where we did not expect it. Like, so really impressed by the match. I'm I'm blown away. Actually, I never expect I never expected Sydney to actually win to go that far. It's it's just always surprising. These. This guy, he didn't even know what overclocking was two days ago. And he's winning his first overclocking know, competition right? live. Right. So he's basically one of the the most rookie guy. Like 48 hours Stop on this from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> and that's going to be hard to stay there. So he's going to come back on the, on the live, I'm pretty sure. Come, come here. on, come on. All right. So, so you... You get the record from starting from nothing and winning the game. From 
and for the most of the game, you started from uh, being back from Kafumbla and you surpassed him. He got a couple crash. What happened? What did you change to get that 3600 score? Uh, I actually, uh, uh, I, I didn't actually change anything. It's just um, just rule of three. Just run it a couple times. It changes. It fluctuates. Um, really? Cool. Yeah. Well, I guess you're a lucky guy. So start from no computer, and now you're going to get uh, some great hardware that even I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> I do have more questions. I, I do have some questions for you. Um, so you say you don't own a computer. Yes. Okay, now you're going to have to own one, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have a twin brother, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So do you think you're going to be jealous of you now? Uh, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> he already has everything built. Uh, he has a computer for himself, so... Oh, that's good. So now you, can, you guys will be able to uh, to play back at home. Okay, uh, that's the first time you do overclocking, right? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, um, how was your experience doing the workshop? Were you here like, oh, I have no clue what this is. Let's try out. Um, so when he was teaching yesterday, uh, I just sat there. I watched what he did, and I just moved it over to uh, doing what I did. And uh, I sat here for maybe 45 minutes uh, just practicing yesterday. Oh, that's uh, that's super nice. And, and see, I mean, 48 hours ago, you didn't you did not knew what this was, and you're winning your first overclocking competition live here. That's uh, that's quite awesome. That's quite uh, quite impressive. Well done, well done, man. Congratulations once again. And uh, well, I guess we're gonna see you next year for another competition, maybe. Yeah, uh, maybe. maybe. <laughs> Thank you, guys. GG to Sydney. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna move on to the uh, award ceremony pretty soon, so you can uh, go back there and get your prize. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Just All right, so like Sine is a bit shy, but GG to him. Start from nothing, and now getting a nice prize. So um, yeah, he's just been lucky, and XTU fluctuates. It seems a bit like Cinebench. Cinebench from one run to another, depending on the background processes on the Windows operating system it can make a quite a bit difference as we've just seen so uh, yeah. now we're going to we, see we need a few more minutes before the uh, the award ceremony and then right. that, that will be fine so the awards should be soon Sydney will be getting an i7 7700k so a last generation intel cpu kb like compatible with the z270 uh, j1151 uh, socket uh, as well as a Seasonic uh, 750 watt 80 plus platinum modular power supply, a great power supply for overclocking, really stable, um, just really stunning as well, and good looking, a white power supply, that's pretty rare to see. And uh, yeah, and he'll also be getting a, a 420 millimeter uh, all in one water cooling from Alpha Cool, if that's correct. And yeah, so uh, fully modular, well, modular, quote unquote, um, all in one because you can actually disconnect the loop and reconnect it to a GPU, for example, and uh, expand your loop, which is cool. And totally capable of overclocking that 7700K over 5 gigahertz with the correct motherboard and RAM. And yeah, I guess he's going to have fun. And it's uh, a new member in the overclocking community that will uh, be very, uh, very appreciated to have, uh, I think. Uh, He'll have a, a, a funny reputation of starting from literally nothing because we've seen some guys start from not much, but we've actually never seen anyone start from actually nothing, but like literally nothing, not even having a computer. So, Zimotek um, Siala here is, uh, uh, will have the prizes shortly, and Truffman is getting the mobile camera uh, ready to, to uh, show off the prizes. So stay tuned to see, see what the second prize, uh, the, uh, the second winner, so will get. Um, so yeah, I believe he's gonna get a power supply, if not right. That's right. So yeah. Yeah, we're gonna take a very short break, just a few seconds, and then we're gonna tune in to the awards room. So guys, don't move out. This is gonna be the end here at the HWBot World Tour Montreal 2017, right after the awards ceremony.